Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And for quick tip number eight, I've decided to talk about web fonts. Uh, now, I have talked about this before about web fonts, uh, but this is just going to be a quick reminder and some a few new features that I'd, I'd like to talk about with with web fonts. Um, so here I have five different web fonts, and down here I have a system font. Uh, now, web fonts. If you're going into Adobe Muse and you create a text box with the text tool. Um, and you select the the text here. I've already created the text, uh, but right up here in the text option, uh, if we click on it, we have recently used fonts, web fonts, and system fonts here. And here we can see it says exports as image. Uh, system fonts are fonts that are installed onto your computer. Um, and here, if we go into the system font here uh, called Skia, the one thing you'll notice with the system font is that it adds this T with an image icon next to it. And this signifies that this is a system font and it will be exported as an image. Now the difference between web fonts and system fonts is that web fonts actually put text within the code of the website. Uh, so if I right click and click on inspect, this word fresca is here in the code. Um, so it's actually text within uh, the website and that's great for search engine optimization uh, because it lets the search engines know what what is on the page or what text is on the page uh, which could help with search engine optimization uh, because the search engines will know what the website is about um, along with a few other things that you'd have to do with search engine optimization like uh, title and description and, and things like that uh, now if we click on system font a system font if I right click and click inspect, we see that it's an image um, and you can add alternative text so that the search engines know what the image is about, but um, it is an image and um, so there, there's no text within the website. Um, so I highly recommend using web fonts, web fonts versus system fonts because it actually puts text within the code of the website. Um, so search engines can read that text uh, in there. Uh, now the next thing I'm gonna talk about with web fonts is that if you go to fonts.google.com, um, you'll notice there's all these fonts here. Um, and Google Fonts, they just have great fonts. Um, and this was uh, introduced in a later update in Adobe Muse, but um, you actually have access to all of those Google Fonts. So if I right click, or if I just go to File, Add, Remove Web Fonts, uh, we have Typekit and we have Edge Web Fonts. Now Edge Web Fonts is actually uh, Google Fonts, um, which is a really great thing. I actually just found that out recently, uh, but it's actually really cool because I was going to create a widget that allowed you to use Google Fonts, but then I looked at Edge Web Fonts and I and I saw hey, they're the same, the Edge Web Fonts and the Google Fonts. Um, yeah, the, the Edge Web Fonts are the Google Fonts. So just as an example, like I could find any web font. So if I looked for Able, I could just go into here and there's able and I just click on it and then uh, we, we see this blue check mark and I'll click OK and now we have the able font available if I want to use it so it's right there I just type in able and it is a web font so I can use able as a web font so for instance if I wanted to use eWirt here I could go in here type in eWirt and here is the web font now most of the fonts are included in edge in the edge web fonts uh, but you will find a few that might not be in there uh, so I just wanted to go over that quick tip and the other thing I wanted to go over is that you can add effects to to the fonts so if you highlight the or if you select the text box and you go to effects you can add a shadow a bevel or a glow to the font so here you can see that I've added a few effects to these uh, fonts here so here I could change the opacity of the shadow I could change the blur the angle and the shadow distance you know so we could have a lot of fun with the effects there so I'll preview in the browser and there we go so there we have it and so Google fonts you can choose from over 600 Google fonts and for typekit you can also choose uh, typekit fonts um, so Typekit has thousands of fonts and you can just go through and install those as web fonts as well. So Adobe Muse just has a lot of access to great fonts and fonts, as we know, can really make or break a website. Uh, so I just wanted to go over that in quick tip number eight, uh, kind of, uh, you know, talk about the Google fonts and, and web fonts uh, again. Um, and I do highly recommend web fonts. And also with the animator widget, 
um, it does work with web fonts. It doesn't work with system fonts just because the way system fonts are out, um, get outputted. So uh, with the animator, um, you can use it with web fonts. Uh, so that's it for quick tip number eight. Uh, again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.